sorry, I got an incoming phone call and I shut off the video. Okay, so here's coming back into the dining room. Again, good light. And then this is the living room. A deck to the hot tub off the living room. Again, great light. Um, what they did with this Wayaukan is they left that rough sun paneling, but they painted it. It's kind of a, well, it depends on the light. It's kind of a creamy or it's kind of a beigey. Put up some track lighting there. Took out the logs and um, put in these beam wraps, or I don't know what they are. Maybe they wrap those around the logs. Um, that fireplace does have gas. I saw the piping for the gas. I just don't know where the turnoff is, but something to investigate. Uh, two steps down to the living room. Let's do a little. Okay, so then for perspective, there's the front door. Come in. Here is a main floor bedroom with a deck. Again, there's the neighbors, but there's their front door is not here and neither is their uh, deck. So I don't think this bedroom would be impacted by the neighbors. Um, Built-ins, tiny closet, really tiny closet. So tiny I can hardly videotape it. And then here's the Jack and Jill bathroom. Two sinks. I think this is Jerusalem limestone. These are original cabinets that they've painted. So they redid the cabinets in the kitchen, but not in this bathroom. Again, I'm pretty sure that's Jerusalem limestone tub and shower and two sinks. And then here's the other bedroom. This is smaller than the other bedroom. If you wanted a main floor master, I think you could easily convert this into a master suite. I think it'd be quite nice. Okay, so going out that second bedroom there. Next to it is a powder room, which is just down the hallway from the entry. Here's the laundry with the original Saltillo tiles. All oh, these are original cabinets as well. But, you know, laundry room right off the garage, so that's quite nice. Here is the garage. Two separate garage doors, storage. Um, yeah, big, big enough garage, got some storage. I can't remember, I think it's 700 square feet garage. Okay, so then we'll go upstairs. And like I said, I think you really could convert this if you wanted a main floor master. I'll just do another circle around so you get the feel for it. I think you could do something fun here. Okay, then let's go upstairs. Coat closet right there. Entry. Here's the stairs, the carpet. I can't tell, I don't think it's been cleaned. It's in okay shape in some places and sort of bad sh shape in other places. So come up the stairs to the landing, take immediate right. And this is the master. With this little tiny office but it has good light like everywhere else. Built-in shelves and desk, bookcases. So the master, you know, it's quite large. It has room for some big pieces of furniture. And a chair. And looks out at 
that mountain to the south of Baldy. Again, there's the neighbors. You can see their, their walkway is at the south end of their garage and there's no deck so on this side of the house so the neighbors won't really be impacting you. And then sink, double sinks. And they did upgrade the cabinets in here as well, like the kitchen. Um, closet, lots of shelving, lots of racks, pretty functional. And then here is this funny little tub with a little seat in it, one person tub. Big shower with a seat, a little bench in the shower, oh, and nice views out of the shower, really nice views out of the shower through the screens. Okay, so this is the master suite, leaving the master, going back down these stairs to the landing. There's those windows. The entryways down below us, right there. Okay, and then go straight up the stairs. And again, nice views, mountain views. Bunk room, den, TV room. It's a big room. Cause those are big log beds. Those must be double beds, maybe queens. I can't tell, but plenty of room. And then bathroom with one sink. And dual hot water heaters. Looks like a fairly new Bryant gas force air furnace. And that's it. I'll do another video. I'll walk around the outside of the house.